When creating uh, materials on the interactive whiteboard, one thing that is quite important at times is to know about the locking and also the grouping uh, functions. Now the reason I say this is sometimes if you don't lock an image or some text and then you start to teach, when you're teaching and you're using the whiteboard, what can happen is you accidentally grab the wrong thing. You grab the image that you don't want to move. And I've done this quite a few times and I think the solution to this is making sure that anything you don't want to be moved is locked. So let's look at how to do this. Oh, I've already done it, silly me. Let me just undo that one and undo that one. So if you have a look here, I've got a series of shapes and I don't want these to be able to be moved because I know it does happen, accidents do happen and these will get moved. So to, to lock them, I've got two options. I can right click, go to lock and lock in place. Alternatively, I can press Control K. I've got a sh keyboard shortcut there. Now if I have a look at it and try and move it, you can see I can't move it and there's a little icon saying it's locked. So again, Control K and it's locked. Control K, that's locked. That one's also locked and that one's also locked. So now I can move this around no problem. I can put it here, I can put it here, I can put it over this image and there's no danger of me moving the other image. So that's why it's quite useful. Next we'll look at grouping. Oh, by the way, we should have actually look at unlocking. To unlock, go up here, click, and then unlock. Alternatively, keyboard shortcut, Control J, Control J. Okay, let's look at grouping now. Now with grouping, what you need to do is select the two images you want to group, or maybe three images that you want to group, or all the images you want to group. So either Control A for all, or you can drag and select this way. You'll notice that these images are now all together. What I need to do now is right click on one of the images and go down to the group and press group. Alternatively, Control G. So now you can see I've grouped all this together. I didn't want to do this though, so I can ungroup by pressing right click and then ungroup. Alternatively, Control R is a shortcut you could use. So I actually only wanted to group this section here, Control G, that is now grouped. And the good thing about this is I can move the image, resize the image, and all the images within this image, <laughs> if that makes sense, they will all change size accordingly. Thanks for watching.